Hello everyone. Today's topic is Vector Integral Theorems. In this theorem, first theorem is Gauss Divergence Theorem. Gauss Divergence Theorem is for transformation between surface integral and volume integral. So first we will discuss uh, the formula for the Gauss Divergence Theorem. Let S be a closed surface enclosing a volume V. If F bar is a continuously differentiable vector point function, then integral over V, divergence of F bar dV equal to integral over S, F bar dot N bar dS. This Gauss Divergence Theorem is transforming between surface and volume integral. Here integral over S, F bar dot N bar dS is uh, surface integration and integral over v divergence of f bar dv is a volume integration for the f bar and here n bar is a outward drawn normal vector at any point of s and uh, divergence theorem can be written by the Cartesian form is triple integral divergence of f bar formula is dou f1 by dou x plus dou f2 by dou y plus dou f3 by dou z dx dy dz equal to double integral over s because of integral over s is a surface integration surface integration find by using the double integration so that's why we can write double integral over s f1 dy dz plus f2 dz dx plus f3 dx dy is a formula for integral over s f bar dot n bar ds so this is a cartesian form for the uh, Gauss divergence theorem. So, first example is apply Gauss divergence theorem to evaluate double integral over s x plus z dy dz plus y plus z dz dx plus x plus y dx dy where s is the surface of the sphere x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 4. Here the given integral is a surface integration and this integration is comparing with double integral over s f1 dy dz plus f2 dz dx plus f3 dx dy. Here we can apply the Gauss divergence theorem that is Gauss divergence theorem is double integral over s f1 dy dz plus f2 dz dx plus f3 dx dy equal to triple integral over v dou f1 by dou x plus dou f2 by dou y plus dou f3 by dou z dx dy dz. So here we need uh, dou f1 by dou x dou f2 by dou y dou f3 by dou z values. So that's why first we have to write f1 is x plus z, f2 is y plus z, f3 is x plus y. Next dou f1 by dou x. Partial differentiation here x is only variable z and y are considered as constant. So that's why x derivative is 1, z derivative is 0. Next dou f2 by dou y, y derivative is 1, z derivative is 0. Next dou f3 by dou z, here no z terms, so that's why derivative is 0. Next dou f1 by dou x plus dou f2 by dou y plus dou f3 by dou z is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 0 value is 2. Next write the Gauss divergence theorem and substitute the values, then we can get integral triple integral over v this value dou f1 by dou x plus dou f2 by dou y plus dou f3 by dou z value is 2 and dv is dx dy dz by using the gauss divergence theorem the surface integration find by using volume integration so here 2 is constant right outside next going to the limits what are the limits for the given uh, integration means volume integration is the given surface is x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 4 this um, uh, x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 4 is a sphere with radius 2 so that's why here Going to the spherical polar coordinates, r limits are 0 to a, a is a radius, here a value is 2, r, r value is 2, so that's why r limits are 0 to 2 and theta limits are 0 to 5. Uh, pi sorry uh, theta limits are 0 to pi and phi limits are 0 to 2 pi so here in the spherical polar coordinates phi limits and theta limits are fixed here theta is whatever the visible of the sphere first part means upper part of the the sphere we can consider that is the angle theta means upper part of the uh, circle means start at theta equal to 0 and at pi 180 degrees and uh, surface of uh, sphere 
is 2 um, uh, 360 degrees that is 0 to 2 pi so that's why we can consider phi limits are 0 to 2 pi and dx dy dz spherical polar coordinates value is r square sin theta dr d theta d phi here r square sin theta is a jacobian value so if you transform one quadrants to the another quadrants we go through with jacobian value so that's why here jacobian value for the spherical polar coordinates is r square sin theta so that's why we are substituting dx dy dz is equal to r square sin theta dr d theta d phi so then our integration becomes to 2 into integral phi equal to 0 to 2 pi, theta equal to 0 to pi and r is equal to 0 to 2, uh, dx dy dz substituted by r square sin theta dr d theta d phi. First integrate with respect to r, r square integration is r cube by 3 limits are 0 to 2 and substitute it we get 2 cube 8 by 3 so then uh, here already one constant is there 2 into 2 cube by 3 and uh, integral phi equal to 0 to 2 pi and uh, in next integration with respect to theta so that's why sin theta integration is minus cos theta limits are 0 to pi into d phi you can write it and next uh, substitute the limits first minus right outside cos pi minus cos 0 cos pi value is minus 1 so then cos 0 value is 1 so minus 1 minus 1 so then minus 2 minus 2 into minus then we can get the plus and the constant value is 16 by 3 and this minus 2 right minus 2 of minus plus 2 right outside we get 32 by 3 and here integration remaining integral part for phi that is limits with 0 to 2 pi integral d pi is pi limits are 0 to 2 pi substitute the limits we get 2 pi 32 by 3 into 2 pi 64 pi by 3 is the value so here we find the surface integration by using the volume integral so this is possible with only gas divergence theorem and also the given surface is sphere so we can use one more uh, method to solve a sphere uh, volume so we will discuss in the next problem that is using divergence theorem evaluate integral double integral over s x dy dz plus y dz dx plus z dx dy where s is x square plus y square plus z square is equal to a square this is a equation for the sphere with the radius a so by using the gauss divergence theorem we can write integral over s f bar dot n bar ds is equal to integral over v divergence of f bar dv first you have to find the divergence of f bar uh, here i'm uh, i wrote the symbolic form of means cartesian form of gauss divergence theorem after that find the uh, divergence of f bar with f1 f2 f3 f1 is x f2 is y f3 is z dou f1 by dou x is 1 dou f2 by dou y is 1 dou f3 by dou z is 1 so dou f1 by dou x plus dou f2 by dou y plus dou f3 by dou z 1 plus 1 plus 1 that value is 3 so here you um, don't expand this uh, volume integration with triple integral just simply you can write integral over v dv and substitute the value of uh, dou f1 by dou x plus dou f2 by dou y plus dou f3 by dou z we get integral over v 3 dv 3 is a constant right outside integral over v dv integral dv is v capital v volume of the sphere 3 v we are getting here for surface integral integral over s double integral over s x dy dz plus y dz dx plus z dx dy is equal to 3y so you can substitute the volume of this sphere with radius a that is v is equal to 4 by 3 pi a cube so here capital v is a volume of the of sphere with the radius a so volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 pi a cube substitute it we get a value that is 3 into 4 by 3 pi a cube 3 3 cancel 4 pi a cube is our integral value to the given surface okay so by using the gauss divergence theorem so next problem is 
apply gauss divergence theorem prove that integral r bar dot n bar ds equal to 3v simply you can take r bar r bar is a standard vector that is r bar is equal to xi bar plus yj bar plus zk bar we can consider this vector is a f bar so then f1 is equal to x f2 equal to y f3 equal to z so do f1 by do x is equal to 1 do f2 by do y equal to 1 do f3 by do z equal to 1 because of integration with respect respect to x is 1 with respect to y is 1 with respect to z is 1 because of here only one one term is there that is also in the x y z so that's why we can get 1 1 1 x derivative 1 y derivative 1 and z derivative with respect to z is 1 so now substitute in divergence of f bar we get the value is 3 so but here we consider f bar is equal to r bar divergence of r bar is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is equal to 3 by gauss divergence theorem we can write integral over s f bar dot n bar ds is equal to integral over v divergence of f bar dv so that is integral over s r bar dot n bar ds is equal to because of f bar is equal to r bar integral over v divergence of r bar dv that value is 3 dv integral 3 dv 3 is a constant right outside integral dv is v so 3 v so this is our result for the given function that is integral over s r bar dot n bar ds is equal to 3v. Next example is use Gauss divergence theorem to evaluate uh, double integral xi bar plus yj bar plus z square k bar dot n bar ds where s is the surface bounded by the cone x square plus y square is equal to z square in the plane z is equal to 4. Solution is given first write the given integral double integral xi bar plus yj bar plus z square k bar dot n bar ds. Here uh, f bar is equal to xi bar plus yj bar plus z square k bar. f1 is equal to x, f2 equal to y, f3 equal to z square. Do f1 by do x is equal to 1, do f2 by do y equal to 1, do f3 by do z equal to 2z because of do f1 by do x with respect to x derivative is 1. Do f2 by do y with respect to y derivative for y is 1. Do f3 by do z, z square derivative is 2z. By Gauss divergence theorem, we can write double integral f1 i bar plus f2 j bar plus f3 k bar means f bar dot n bar ds equal to triple integral over v del dot f bar dv. Del dot f bar dv means divergence of f bar dv. So already we find the do f1 by do x plus do f2 by do y plus do f3 by do z. So substitute in del dot f bar that is divergence of f bar do f1 by do x plus do f2 by do y plus do f3 by do z we get 1 plus 1 plus 2z then 2 plus 2z into dv triple integral over v we get for our surface integration. Now on the cone the given surface is on the cone x square plus y square equal to z square and z is equal to 4. If you take a three quadrant system upper plane is always considered as z. If you take one cone so that uh, upper part of that surface is placed at z is equal to 4. So here clearly z limits in Cartesian form is 0 to 4 and uh, x square plus y square is equal to 4 whole square value is 16. So on x y plane so then we can consider x square plus y square is equal to 16. Why we consider on x y plane it is equal to 16? We can consider a projection of the given surface. So, a given surface is at z is equal to 4. Means at z is equal to 4, we have to consider one plane at that plane. Our region is there. So, that surface is there at 
z is equal to 4. So that's why we can take on xy plane x square plus y square is equal to 16. So on xy plane we consider a function because of our surface projection is on xy plane so that's why x square plus y square is equal to 16 so y square is equal to 16 minus x square that is y is equal to under root of 16 minus x square so on x axis y is equal to 0 so x square is equal to 16 x is equal to 4 from this equation we find the limits for y and x so then we can take x limits are so projection on xy axis means uh, in the our region in xy quadrant in the xy quadrant means x start from 0 and and at 4 already we find the value and y is also start from 0 to under root of 16 minus x square and z is equal to 0 to 4 because of they gave the z value is 4 so z is considered for the height means that that is um, height of the cone is a 0 to 4 z is equal to 0 to 4. So, in case of uh, in 3 quadrant system if you have any doubt then you can solve by using the spherical polar coordinates also substitute x, y, z values and we get the limits in r, theta and phi then find the value by using the spherical polar coordinates. So, now here we are using the only Cartesian form. So, uh, here x limits are 0 to 4 and y limits are 0 to under root of 16 minus x square and z limits are 0 to 4 by using the given surface and the projection of xy plane. So, double integral xi bar plus yj bar plus z square k bar dot n bar des is equal to triple integral over v 2 plus 2z dx dy dz. Here I am applying the limits x is equal to 0 to 4, y is equal to 0 to under root of 16 minus x square and integral z is equal to 0 to 4, 2 plus 2z dx dy dz. So, first here from uh, two common so right outside we get 1 plus z first integration with respect to z 1 plus z integration is z plus z square by 2 limits are 0 to 4 and the remaining uh, integration for x and y dx dy next one substitute the limits for z that is 4 plus 4 square by 2 we get 12 for upper part lower part uh, lower limit is 0 so already 2 is there 2 into 12 24 and next integration for y y here no y terms are there that's why integral dy is y y limits are 0 to under root of 16 minus x square into dx next one 24 integral x is equal to 0 to 4 substitute the limits for y under root of 16 minus x square minus 0 lower limit is 0 then next 24 into integral x is equal to 0 to 4 root 4 square means 16 value is 4 square minus x square into dx it is a mm, the integration solved by using the formula integral under root of a square minus x square dx is equal to x by a under root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sine inverse of x by a here a value is 4 from our problem so if you substitute the 4 uh, is uh, uh, value for a we get x by 2 under root of 16 minus x square plus a square 4 square 16 by 2 sine inverse of x by a, a value is 4 limits are 0 to 4. Now you can substitute the limits if you substitute the upper limit the 4 the 16 minus 4 square value is 16 the first uh, in the upper um, uh, limit first value becomes to 0 and second value is 8 sin inverse of 4 by 4 8 sin inverse of 1 minus lower limits are zeros because of first term multiply with x so that's why it is a 0 16 by 2 sin inverse of 0 value is a 0 lower limit completely 0 and sin inverse of 1 value is pi by 2 so substitute pi by 2 here we get 8 into pi by 2 that is 4 pi 24 into 4 pi equal to 96 6 5 that's all for today